All right, family, welcome back. Um, this now wake up Sierra Leone with a come to you live on AYV television on channel 33 on DSTV channel 399 on radio 101.7 FM and of course on Facebook at AYV news well um, for the first conversation this morning we they come look at how um, the November 26 attempted coup um, do affect the peace and stability of the country and same way so it's not the role of parliament um, in all of this. And for second conversation day this morning we get with we in the studio Honorable Ibrahim Tawa Conte, we are the Deputy Chief Whip 2 um, in the parliament and also Honorable um, Dr. Unfa Suri Koroma, we are an APC parliamentary um, spokesperson. Good morning, gentlemen, and welcome to the program. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I want to start off with you, um, Honorable Tawa. First off, how is Parliament? <coughs> then, how this whole thing don't affect, you know, the operation and smooth running of um, Parliament? Oh, well, thank you very much, Shama, you know, and good morning, Sierra Leoneans. Firstly, you know, that Parliament is good, like always. Difficult, high expectation. The people um, understanding remains the same, that the parliamentarian is working for a day beyond legislation, a day beyond oversight, and it extends to all the other things already expect you for the earth. The parliamentarian he holds na the first point of prayer, na the closure of the day for every constituent around the district now, now bigger than what he will be get before. But generally, parliament is good. It started very slow, particularly where we colleagues them from the APC not be done take the city it. So more or less. We were like in sync with the constitution. We get quorum. We not be they violate any provision of the constitution. But democratically, the message we we there out there are like it's a one party parliament. So now we have the full complement of parliament. So parliament will do work now in line with the expectation of the people of this country. Now to the incidents of um, November 26. Firstly. We therefore be guided as to how we they address the issue because as parliamentarians we are guided by both the constitution and the standing orders and in the standing orders a matter where they under investigation largely is sub judice and we get for select what will they say and what will not they say because whatever we say is policy and to a large extent you get the possibility for influence or undermine the outcome of the investigation but Generally, the November 26 incident, now one way left Sartes, now the mouth of Sierra Leoneans, and it, it take we back some 10, 15 years backward, because the last time we, we experienced anything like a coup in 1997, and from 97 to now, it's almost 15, 16 years, we, we know they talk about coup again, we don't get three democratic transition from Tijan Kaba to President Koma, from President Koma to President Bill, the current president. We don't get um, several elections after that point day. So we not be the expect say at this point we'll be discussing something like an attempted coup where the notion supposed for be continuation of the agendas the way we don't start from Tijan Kaba, the PRSP, the, the, the expansion and building of uh, state institutions, institutions that would only transform the general outlook of Sierra Leone, the NRA, the NASIT, the, the infrastructural development, them, the expansion of road network, now the Hill Bypass, the completion now, near completion of the uh, um, Peninsula Road, other roads under the interior, increased business activities. So we don't take off as a country, and we always begin this aspiration from. The last agenda will not be the agenda for prosperity, where we say by 2030 we will get to middle income status. We are not able to achieve that under the, the, the MDGs. But with the SDGs and with President Bill, the, the uh, medium term national development plan, they in effect, and we don't set another target, say by 2035, 
it should be a medium, um, a middle income earning country where we're able for take care of we basic needs and able for meet we, we daily running cost as a country and able for make citizens and live well. So coming with things like this after a lot of advocacy, after the president undo, a lot of movements in and around Africa and the world for change the narration on Sierra Leone, that not of the country this way will be used for Sabi for the rebel uh, uh, war, not of the country this way will not be used for, no, for military coups. Now we have moved to a democratic um, system of transition severally, and now Sierra Leone should say it already for receive um, foreign direct investment in large scale. It has done that across the world. Forget something like this, it's, it's seriously denting, and it affects the repetitions. Even with Sierra brothers, the way they are there. But Cooper and they don't book tickets for come this holiday. So man decide for cancel the ticket because the, the instability is real. Uh, uh, um, um, Tawa, um, just after the um, elections, you know, we don't see several um, call for dialogue and things like that. And the president so you know, been the call on the opposition for letting himself come and join, you know, in, in, in leadership so that, you know, things could go well in the country. Um, now you rightfully mentioned, say, there is this full-fledged of um, um, support from both the opposition and the ruling party in, in parliaments. Um, what, or waiting at some of the measures we Una, I mean, members of parliament don't take in order for address um, these challenges of the incidents we have. Well, firstly, as a parliament, you realize say, the two leaders in the house put out a resolution. We support the investigation, and we they continue for call for calm, and we they continue for re echo the president's in initial positions them in, in to address uh, and we don't make to the nation that it is not a political matter, it is a people's matter, it's a group of people that we come together for undermine the peace and security of Sierra Leone, whether they are, they are affiliated or connected to any political party, they did not act for and on behalf of a political party or religious group or ethnic um, 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 sects, yes. they came together financed from whatever source they were able to get finances for bringing the state of Sierra Leone into dispute. So as parliament, we support that position with the president's sake, and we serve, they continue to monitor the process with the investigation they take, because fairly enough, we get little for do at this particular point in time, because mm. we no need for do any legislation, we no need for make any pronouncement beyond what, in the, what we don't do, because like I said, but we again, you cannot be entirely knowledge. dormant. You cannot be quiet about the whole situation. No, we are not. Coming here is a show that Parliament really concerned. Parliament really aware, say, we have this difficult situation. Outside the resolution where the House endorsed fully, we always open for talk to the public and let the public know, say, the country largely, to a large extent, is secured. However, we know say there are few people out there who are not able to track down it. We have to be honest, we have to be truthful. So in your own words, how would you um, describe the aftermath of this whole thing? Because you talk, say, um, the country is largely secured and things. How you, how you could describe this? Uh, I would describe them um, as a step backward. Because by now, we know what they talk about curfew. We know say this is not the only this season. I did not mean for November 26. We for the get we street carnival there now. We for the get we we carnival na Kube. We for the get we carnival na the late streets. So we send alumni for don't block one road. We don't make one big carnival. But we cannot do it now because if we want to pass, you start four o'clock. We go back to yesterday years where they make jump, where they start twelve o'clock. You don't six o'clock. So this is the situation. So security wise, Sierra Leoneans can go to bed and believe in the security sector. They take care of the situation in every country. The biggest uh, 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 countries with the biggest infrastructure, they serve they get security and intelligent lapses. So, but every lapse in intelligence, not me to say the country or the country they insecure. You need to say as humans, and you must get um, low time. And in the low time, the the other possible the plan, they always they look at the low time. But that not due to a message of insecurity. The point is that if the country was not secured, we need to go get an appointment for the seats every other day. 
But because we want to send the message of security, the message of hope, the message of strong democratic institutions, they make parliament the work, they make the executive the work, they make with the camera public like so on. I invite you for can talk about peace, for can talk about democracy, for can talk about the state of Sierra Leone a post uh, November 2020, November 26. Now I'll start on a light note. Um, this has happened already, and we still get people wanted out in the communities. Parliament, get members of parliament, we, they represent these communities. How the leadership of parliament don't gather members of parliament in whatever role Ona will get for play in this with Ona communities then? Uh, unlike the, the last parliament, the fifth parliament, when I be a constituency-based parliament, this is now a bigger block, a block where me and Dr. De represents, together with 14 other members. So more or less, as parliament, as parliamentarians, then, we get a number of other activities that we will be involved in our constituency, maybe as a low-key or at a point where in it's, it's engagement. For example, Dr. Go gets a young group of people there, matter based the way they go, where they engage, where do they get conversation? Because if now for the general information from government, it is there. The Ministry of Information, they put out a lot of information out there. Now it is left with us as members of parliament for making use of the information and they, now there's more small clusters there. Who will go play ball? And, and that's when all they see them because even on after the November 26th, we see videos them we in as much as some communities, then they willingly um, point out point some out of the them. people say, okay, this is suspicious. You get them one day, we, I mean, they support them, they cheer them on. Go so high, the other, let them not see you. We've not seen much from the members of parliament. Well, as members of parliament, like I say, we they engage. We they engage at different cluster. For example, at the plain uh, Lomli Veteran, every other Sunday we go there, we they talk about peace, we talk about the situa situation of the country, we go talk about development, and I go give them updates from the parliamentary angle. And also, me and also a member of a Saturday veteran, uh, Grassfield, we they engage with them, we they sit on our tab with them, we they talk to people, and hence the reason we make you see, see people beyond all political party alignments, they come out, any time they say anybody in the wanted list, they come together and pursue, and not because of just their own ordinary will, but one, there is a lot of information from government, from the Ministry of Information, and we self win at the representative, they encourage them for their understand, say, it is not political. It is about us, it's about the livelihood of our children, it's about the sustainability of this country, because touch would anything be happened on the 26th of November, say the government was toppled. It would have been a complete chaos in Sierra Leone, because then it would get a political connotation. Let's look at the chaos now, the elephant in the room, the chaos in the country um, pre before the, the November 26 situation. It turned out it's a good thing that um, we the assailants and try for sort of insight. Residents in Afriton for join them, residents failed to. But that does not take away the fact that we get pending issues we were dealing with as a country. We seem for them come out of a very glorious SLPP and APC victory. You would question how much of a victory that has given the public. This takes us back to election issues. Pre-election, election, election and post-election issues. There's still big elephant in the room that is still being dealt with. What's in the role of parliament in this? Because election is a big thing. Oftentimes when people come for do anti-violence sensitization to people as it relates to governance, the message is any grievance you get, you wait and take it to the ballot box. Here is a situation where people go to a ballot box in June and there are issues with that ballot box. What is the role of parliament in this? Because you don't want election term, pre-election, election, post-election, post -election, why don't I get problem with SLPP today, SLPP get problem with APC, but in the middle of it, people begin to question the electoral commission of the country. Well, again, that's the message we give as an alternative to violence. Wait, go vex by ballot books. What's the role of parliament in this? Well, firstly, as parliament, before I talk about parliament, it will, let me look at the new principle to democracy. One of the new principles of that to democracy, from bigger democracies to smaller democracies, now the fact that acceptance of results is one of the most difficult things. Even in the United States, as we talk so today, the legitimacy of President Biden is done by President Trump, but Donald Trump and his. Oh, a minute, Honorable. Um, so it's one thing for the 
you may not position get issues with your results. It's another thing where it goes beyond just the political. It goes to uh, elections observers, local and international. It becomes a thing just about elections results and the politics with. It becomes a thing of the politics and politicians versus. Let's put our own into context. Well, if you put your own into context, the first thing is that you talk about election observers. We had multitude of election observers. We have one set of observers that we validate the elections fully. We have another set of observers that they ask us something when we the law. That's in it where the problem is. It is not a problem because every country has a law. And in the law, you get to follow the law to the letter. The law must ask anybody in this country for published election results in a disaggregated form. Let us agree on that. It is clear. The law say the electoral commissioner, now in discretion, after he don't publish the result in a gazette, now in discretion for publish the result in any other form. And there are no amendments we will do in the fifth parliament, now so it be done at the Public Election Act of 2012. So it's just a copycat of what it be done at the last law. So the point is, if you are an international observers, hence the reason why make the dialogue of the two parties also identify, say, yes, there are lacunas in both the electoral processes from 96 to date, and let us put a, a, a team together where they look at some more lacunas than they, and see whether it will influence an amendment to the existing legislation. Now that is exactly the point of what is the role of parliament in this? So we all will, firstly, now that we now for make law, now for perform oversight and for represent. And we don't see say one law don't give we issue from June, mm -hmm. where we don't, they drag, drag, we foot they get here and there are issues with. The, the law don't give issues. The law now we get changing environments does this not call members of parliament to action say let's sit and look at the election Fair laws and see where a review is needed so going forward we don't come back to this situation of you know publisher oh no i'm not supposed to publish her. where nationally we agree on what the law would be going forward whether it should be published or not but does this not draw the attention of members of parliament say this is something to be looked at so the more easy why make you get the communique ask for all the parties there, both the international community, both the, the SLPP and the APC, for provide, first of all, one leadership across, co-chair, and compose a committee where they look at their things then, because as parliaments, the instrument they will get for Kamut law, one are for perform oversight. In the cause of oversight, as per Section 93, we can, it can influence the legislation. But now there is already an existing a, 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 a committee set up by the president in line with the, the dialogue outcome. And that committee, they, now they, they, they report. Now they go inform the parliament now for let parliament take action across the world. You, you don't just come with a private member's motion on a national a, a delicate issue as the election law. Because if I bring a public private member motion now, it would, to a large extent, be nationalistic, but tilting towards supporting my political belief. So it has to be fair. It has to be transparent. So what do we do as parliament? For monitor the process leading to the outcome we will influence legislation. Because in the Public Elections Act, we make sure, see, we look at progressive clauses there, more were made in 2022. And then progressive clauses then, they, now end usher in things like 30% female representation, now end usher in like things like the proportional representation. It cannot be uniform. But the point now that as parliament over the years, fifth parliament coming to the sixth parliament, and also let the public understand that whatever the fifth parliament do, this sixth parliament is not bound by that. Mm. So the point now that whether they see me, they talk, during the fifth parliament now i am talking in the sixth parliament so decisions of the fifth parliament is not bound by the sixth parliament so the point is we have to for develop a legislation it's not automatic you have to do consultation even when they bring the report just now we have to go do consultation we get a lot of things there for do for let you bring and can because the the law say every bill of the kind of parliament you can forget a memorandum of objects and that memorandum of objects has to be influenced by consultations being done okay and then consultation they determine the objective of the law we go come to dr uh um, shortly but is this you giving an assurance to the people of sierra leone say um, the election situation as it ended is not something we Parliament intend for turn a blind eye to. The election situation ended in a positive way, not as a political party, <coughs> because it is widely acclaimed as free, fair and transparent. That is the first thing. Secondly, 
the 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 the, the results by, whose rating? Hmm. by every hmm. other rating <laughs> by every other rating by the equals by the eu by other observers oh, uh, save for Qatar foundation yeah, sorry, and the european <laughs> union and what did they ask for what did they ask for what both the Qatar foundation and the european union they ask for it's not the first issues coming up in any election for say the process for tally if you go to the EU Observer Report of 2018, Honorable it's Honorable that's issues. not the question I ask. I've been just, I've been just ask you if the people of Sierra Leone can be assured and say Parliament no intent for turn a blind eye to the issues we emerge with re elections. There are no issues in the elections. The are ele you kidding? No, it's, it's fact. There are no issues in the election. The election is free, fair, transparent. Let me tell you, uh, 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 Doubt in so anybody. So there are no issues, say. <laughs> doubt in any process. Oh, no, the same no, not the same salon with the same salon with The point is that, you know, they sow seeds of doubt in the minds of the people and expect, say, everybody will say so the there same was, So there's nothing to look into. 56.4% of If Sierra you say Union there were no say, issues, then why is the president declaring a committee we get for looking to... Because the president is not a dedicated peacemaker. No, because the I, president I, I just suppose that to you just don't say there were no issues. No, there were no issues. The opposition refused for calm take part in the governance. And part of the, 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 the president's wisdom now for ask for everybody for come at the table and discuss. Oh, no, in the opinion that. of the opposition, now that they wanted a dialogue and the outcome of the dialogue now for set up a, a, a committee for look into not for look into the election so okay oh, no, the, 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 just a minute the, the communication we, we, we can't is to that. look into the infrastructure we find myself in a situation where, um, so this again, it's still connected to November 26th. So these are some of the pending issues where the assailants and the one use for get people into the streets because we had had issues. Um, good thing is, Fritonians they refuse, <laughs> in the words of uh, Angola Valley, say, they refuse, they demonstrate, say they not show nobody, they not give nobody permission for go negotiate on their behalf with guns. But this brings us to the, SL, the, the APC. The APC selfishly choose not to participate in governance until Una go get the things you wanted to get, and then Una sluggishly now march into the parliament, and Una they expect we taxpayers money for give Una, una backlogs. Is that not justification why some Sierra Leoneans who suspect on a party say on are connected to what happened on November 26? By no means. Um, first, firstly, I want to address the issue about selfishly. Um, of course, I can read out the meaning of selfishly in case we are confused. No, we want to address them. Okay. You can mean read that later. But uh, of course, you don't state in your statement, um, and it's widely uh, agreeable that the whole country see the elections were questionable and that results from the elections were challenged and that international observers then also be 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 be, be not be able to give a check mark to what happened at the elections if the elect international observers then not give a check mark in the european union uh, u.s embassy the ambassador at the time they all not give check mark to the elections day what he make you feel say we as apc nor get a position way strong for say we know and participate in governance. Definitely, we want for make the people they know. Definitely, we want people they get for come after we for know say elections them. It's not do or die, but elections them are the people and voice. And then a divine message from God say what you want and who do I want for let lead we now they vote for. But if you get an elections way in the beginning self on that day of elections. Some polling station uh, centers will not be able to open on time. Some people will not be vote till 2 p.m. and then get for end for vote at 6 p.m. In elections, Dr. where Omar, people. The question was not to the answer. No, they talk about selfish. things then they. Is it not justification for let people of Salon suspect on an APC say you had <coughs> some involvement or connection to the failed attempted coup November 26, 2023 in a Salon? First of all, you get an APC that is participating in governance. First of all, you get an APC. We don't participate in council. First of all, you get an APC, we go on the table for dialogue with the government. Dr. Samura Kamara was there in that dialogue day. APC, big people, and we day in that dialogue day. Then say, okay, let bygones be bygones, not accept the result as it is, but let's get some resolutions. And part of that resolution day, now for let the president make a statement 
in addressing unity cohesion in the country. The second one, now for APC members of parliament, councillors and mayors and chairpersons, them, go back and take oath and serve the people. Them. So if we as APC don't agree for do that, I don't think say the people and for believe say APC get anything for do with what happened in November 26. Secondly, the APC officially make a statement say then they not support what happened on that day. day. Then as Honorable Tower State in Parliament, the leader of government moved a motion which was seconded by the leader of opposition that this what happened on November 26 should be investigated. Definitely, what happened on November 26, now one way all of we as Sierra Leoneans them not be the expect and not for even uh, support. Definitely, what happened on November 26, now some people don't take we back. It don't even affect what happened in the dialogue process. As you see, the chief minister go on radio, the one on TV or radio, and state, make some statement them, which for me I consider unfortunate. It's unfortunate because this is not possible if we say we don't take a position, we don't take the high road. What happened on June 24 and the aftermath of June 24, now something left a bad taste in the people of this country. The elections them, they not be they not be credible. We don't know take today to date, we know we get election results. Now we they get say that they go thief, now they go broke into ECSL and thief data. So these things they raise eyebrow, and at this not thing where people and for the question, why are these things happening at this time? Uh, and where they undermine the dialogue where APC commits to for make sure say, the people of this country move forward, for ensure say peace then at this country wherein everybody will benefit from her. Because our non-participation in governance may not be the help of the country. Everybody where they move around and know say that non-participation they be the affect economic activity self in this country. Even people that be the out, not be the kind, just like what they happen now, where people they order buy them tickets, don't refuse for coming. So you see, APC then committed to peace and APC in a party where they look at the interests of the people and more paramount. So in respective, irrespective of what happened after June 24 elections, APC still went to the table. APC still agreed on certain things. And we, even majority of the supporters they say they're not too specific. And that they may even question the people that open at the table. But in the interest of the whole country, and not just for APC supporters, in the interest of Sierra Leone, where we call we home, we're going to the table. So no, if uh, we're in uh, a uh, parliament now, we're in a council, why should we be uh, suspected for Mfa, this kind of uh, um, activity? Considering the potential um, ramification, which is not the role we, the opposition party, we and APC don't do for ensure, say, we maintain peace and stability in the country? Exactly what I say. After elections, we go to the dialogue. Let me know their attentions. We are not participating, but we went to the table. We talked to the government. We made resolutions we are made. We agreed to them. Um, meetings we have held. We've met all of those. Resolution by resolution, the, the president make a statement, members of parliament went to work, members of parliament in parliament making laws, councillors, mayors, chairpersons are in their respective and districts and councils. So this is a commitment say APC committed to peace. Then when this happened, statement came from the secretariat of the APC, said and condemned what happened on November 26. And after elections, even though the results were, were not accepted by the APC people, you never see APC on the street but, protesting but, and fighting. But in all, of this, in all of this, so as, me, as my colleague um, um, rightfully asks, I mean, all fingers have been pointed right at the opposition party. As the parliamentary spokesman, which are some of the concerns and perspective with the party hold with regards to this attempted coup? Well, for me, it's a, it's a surprise by me for Lancy, all fingers they point to APC. Mm. But of course, we note that uh, personalities um, way close to APC and even the former president have been drawn into this and they are under investigation. But under it, I clearly state this, they're under investigation right now. And as much as we go let for talk about them, but when it comes to coup, which is not something we, we own generation, probably grew into it, but not something we, we as adults, nor even ever experience, coup not in way, not like, like a, a, a bad omen for a country like Sierra Leone, a bad omen in any society than a one. So secondly, you know, say they drag the country into any other thing. But it is certainly for let us say point fingers a point to APC, because APC is a larger party, and there are personalities in the APC where, of course, we believe, say, <coughs> some of them, they probably are targeted, 
Some of them are probably being intimidated, suppression, they go on. And sometimes you wonder if, this, if there is a commitment to this dialogue in the first place. The commitment to the dialogue, commitment for make sure this alone take a step forward. Is there a commitment from the government to ensure that's happened? Thanks. Because as I go back, resolution three, now for let them free prisoners, right? But you get the resolution, you get the minister, chief minister say, let a personality in the APC turn in prisoners. And the last time I checked, Dr. Um, Richard Conte, not to ONS officer, Dr. Richard Conte, not to police officer, Dr. Richard Conte, not even near the military, where they do all the investigations right now. So how you go call on a personality for turn on, turn in prisoners? And let's note this, a lot of prisoners and they, where they, uh, where, where they at large right now, when are you connected to APC, or connected to APC, the list of people they wouldn't want out. So we as Sierra Leoneans there, now all responsibility to ensure, see, if we see any Sierra Leonean, somebody they hide, we know somebody they escape from how prison. Was the party, how was the That's party in true. terms of support to the ruling true. party? You know, how we not only ensure that we self bring them people and they to, 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 to board, like we the, the, um, them put out wanted list, say, okay, we they look out for so, so, so people. Them. I mean, Fibian asked a very excellent question with regards um, um, honorable members within their communities, they ensure that then if they see any, you know, funny, funny things to go on, that they bring them to, to board, say, okay, we don't they notice one or two people around the community. I mean, looking at a political party now, which is the APC, how on don't they um, um, collaborate with the ruling party for that, you know, um, we get them people and they, um, just for maintain peace in the country? Well, first of all, it came with the state, we, we said to general, put out the press release. Secondly, it also <coughs> underscored by the support of the leader of parliament. See, we think the investigation over what happened on November 26 should be followed and then support them. But this, I want to make and clear, say, now the responsibility for every Sierra Union, irrespective of your political belief or affiliation. It is, because this is a security issue. If you get somebody who don't go to prison, for whatever reason they're in a prison for, not to post in and you want to live side by side with. Not to somebody and you want to harbor. You understand? So this is a responsibility we not is non-political, it's non-partisan. Every Sierra Leone of one who say anybody who don't escape from prison should be brought to book. Whoever before say then go open gates for and for let come out and work out, which some people then return back, by the way. But whoever if he said they open gate for a leg, come and work out, if I return back, and, and if you're not possible. your own efforts they want to make as a political party for support the investigation sure. process, mm -hmm. especially with Pandi Communique, we see there was a list of, of wanted, uh, of uh, a list to be presented to, to, to the president of people and where they may apprehend on political terms. Mm -hmm. So obviously, APC gets interest. Mm -hmm. They pass some of the prisoners there. Absolutely. And the one that we're going to all, except the one that we're physically challenged and we get health issues now, they stay. So and <laughs> if there are people in the population suspecting Una as a political party, it brings us to what Una they do for even exonerate Una. Well, I want to believe, say, we say people in the population, probably some people in the population, not everybody believes, say, APC connected to this. Dr. Because Kouma, personally, I'm very particular about my choice of words. Yes. I said some people. Thank you. So some people, not mean everybody. And some person, in your own view, could be a biased view. And not a biased view for anybody, even for, for, uh, um, for even um, pedula message, they say, APC and connected to it. So speak to the uh, efforts so what they do for support investigation for exonerating Clearly the statement from the Secretariat. And the one voice down the way they come out from the secretary. Statement. Of course. And even the support by the leader of uh, the deputy, the, 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 the leader of the opposition of parliament. We are talking about school. We are talking about people that will be held, uh, that are, that are treasonable offenses. And I don't offenses. think it's so unnecessary for as a political party, for example, these people, the fact that Una mentioned Panda Communique say there's a list of people who think say they, they on political issues means obviously Una get interest in some of the prisoners. Would you, would you tell us, say, Una, no, no, at least a family member or a friend of each of them people, and the way Una internally can say, Lord, Una, follow through on them and check, okay, if Una know their whereabouts, Una support, and bring mm -hmm. them under over to security forces. So you're saying there's nothing Una can do? Of Fast course. Statement. Of course, certainly. No, but of course, in a conversation, you tell somebody, say, one, if you see somebody, you run away, return her. Two, if you see somebody, you say, you can't seek 
sign you not accept her. Then a privilege, then a conversation you get with people that you sabi. Personally, if you ask me, I don't know anybody where they in a prison where I know say, okay, I be sabi and before they put in a prison. Personally, if you ask me. But from a party position, we get people that will say politically uh, um, uh, motivated case them should be brought to the table. So then put them people in there. But I'll ask you one question. What is the percentage of APC people them, in, people of interest of APC who come so, on a prison so two compared to the total people that will come on a prison? Two things in response, I want to, know in that response percentage to your question. Two things. Yes. First, we ask the questions. That's the first one. <laughs> Secondly, the fact that on that communique, that three days dialogue, it is stated on it, <laughs> say, on I get a list for present, elect now one person, it still tells us APC gets interest per one or two of them prisoners they need. Absolutely. That settles it. Absolutely. But we get for be clear that from 2018 to 2023, Sierra Leone was not what Sierra Leone used to be. We got for get clear back, say, during the internet, so many things they happen you know, from Makeni to Tombo to uh, Lunsar to town after town on issues and way people were arrested. And most of them people and they are people. So if them people and they are prison, of course, when you come to the table, you get for table that say those are things of interest. We as party also believe that people and they we were politically motivated for no just cause. You know, so, interestingly, so, so if you sit on a thief take place, then thief something, then they accuse you or they suspect you say no to you thief. The expectation are that you go make conscious efforts, go to every <laughs> length, for you help investigate, just for proof your name, say, okay, at least they don't catch a person. So nobody not go to look me and they suspect me. Why have we been called to do that? Do Why you need do you? to be called? Of course, because this is the work of the security personnel. This is not CID work. Not to me and you, we work there. Work, but we even work. when CID work, the security sector, they even ask the general public, ordinary citizens for support. Of so course. It tells you that everybody gets responsibility. Uh, whether CID or ONS or not, we yeah, all. Clearly, in another state, and inside Sierra Leone, as I check, not to two political parties no more than this country. So other political parties. Now party. there are two more they give me headache for facts for power. Well, and I, I want to disagree with that. Say, Agreeing or disagreeing does not change the fact. No, the point is, the point is the the point of the matter is yes, APC and LPP are the large political party in this country. But when it comes to national security, even the small picking self gets uh, gets a role for play. We have to understand that if we start making issues in a political and this this this, uh, this special way will all get yourself out. So if our because are not political, what are they? They, they are civil. They are civil. Because now every citizen is responsibility for ensure say peace and security in the country. Now every citizen is responsibility for say law and order be abide by. Now make it get uh, civil society organizations. This is not a political issue. This is a Sierra Leone issue. If you get threats to security in the country, now every Sierra Leone is in concern, not to APC party, no more than concern. I want to make that clear. True as you state them, but it brings us back to even APC connected and they forbidden self young concern. So it takes us to what in APC they do as part of our show say they self yeah, we said that we concern. Individually, I'm sure responsible APC people and responsible Sierra Leoneans, eh, they talk to people that we probably not gonna know what in for do say one, if you see somebody who you know saying a possible be in a prison, turn her in. Then a statement and order come out from the government, the government will put a, a picture of people they want to suspect them. If you see them, turn them in. And if you turn them in, it will help your own security. I know we will undermine my own security if we can't keep somebody where not the government for the keep. No, no, forget. All prisoners are words of the state. All prisoners are words of the state and not words of a political party or any person. Oh, so oh. when they are out, if you see them in your community, turn them in. All right. Um... With we in the studio, we get Honorable Ibrahim Tawa Conte, we are the Deputy Chief Whip 2 in our Parliament um, from the ruling party, SLPP, and same way so Honorable Dr. Unfasori Kuruma, we represent the, we are the APC Parliamentary um, spokesperson, and we've been also joined by um, Andrew Lavali, we are the Executive Director of Institute for Governance Reform. Um, quickly before the break, we have been time for you know, give your own view about um, the November 26th attempted field coup. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, you see, we just published a paper called Violence in Freedoms, and we now understand the actors 
behind the field cool. And violence entrepreneur is actually means entrepreneur and a person with a buy and sell. It actually means a now individuals and not a political party. So for example, you mentioned somebody like Leather Boot. Um, Leather Boot, if President Bio hire him, he can hire him for violence. You have most of the characters and we don't arrest right now. So I think say it go really bad for this country if a lot begin to trade this as a political party affair. It's about our collective security. So with the CSA, um, uh, you know, political parties they can get them banter. And I think I get for return to that one day. And then then banter and they then hit them with a gimmick. It can be exploited. If you watch somebody like Leather Boots, Leather Boots don't take part in a coup in 1992. In fact, he was attached to the um, Secretary of State for Mines and Minerals. In fact, he would be the coordinate illegal mining trade. In 2007, in 1996 rather, just uh, four years after that, um, 1997, five years after that, he took part in a coup for overthrow Tijan Kaba in AFRC. Uh, fast forward two years on, um, we Ekumok take over, he left. He only came back, he became bodyguard of President a candidate Kuruma at the time in 1990, in 2007. Of course, two years after that, they, we know we already see back the attack SLPP office. We be implicated in Justice uh, Thomas Commission for around the, 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 rape, the rape cases. So when this happened, we don't need to go far. It's people, when they say violence is a prisoner, somebody in a yanda in the making your living. So I think they like point down the number one. But I think they fine for left, both political parties, they know say, in fact, the data we will get in the show say salon posse no one cool. You make cool 20 times a salon, 20 times you know they work, you know they succeed. The reason why I say back, apart from the big, big condemnation with APC don't make, the fact that the party not organized in people and say when I jump in the streets and largely free town not vote for SLPP, largely free town vote APC. So the fact that the party talks say no, we don't want this. Um, I think so that's worthy of special notice. We saw the Bombali caucus back, which in and do they actually issued a statement. So uh, it means it, this country is unanimous for say we know Anku. But you know one thing, whilst they say all of this, it takes two to tango. I think say, you know, it's too often you can see opposition in the attack we. Opposition and civil society therefore really work together. You know why? Around the world that's what happens. But inside Salon, you see say opposition to go one way civil society to go one way. You know why? Because opposition already actually lead. Where opposition want lead democratic governance, it actually create the policies, questions. But Le how does that work, Andrew Lavelli, where uh, um, uh, um, civil society in itself is divided? No, no. Uh, you have those who are uh, uh, allegedly poor government. No, 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 no. If, uh, no, <laughs> Phoebe, 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 if whole day somebody they say, they want you with low come. Mm -hmm. as opposed to actually stating, say, now this I want to do on justice reform. The way you talk down, they say, now this I want to do on justice reform. You will actually coalesce groups like, like Carl behind you, because that's what they advocate for. But when you personalize them, when it becomes individuals and their organizations, it becomes difficult. I see the question, uh, me, me, me in law, <laughs> in fact. And I, I see your question quite a lot, which is very interesting. I believe, see, I think the one lesson we would learn from this going forward, political parties and get for make sure, say, they, they not only avoid hate, but the way within the structure themselves, way in the end they actually use for this character, that a character, and then they stamp the character. If you watch in the last, uh, from 1996 to now, <clears throat> now only two terms, now 2007 coup, and 2020, 2023 coup, they look just similar. In fact, that three times it happened, and we get three failed coups before this other one we failed in 2023. We had two failed coups in 19, uh, 1997 before another one actually housed. So I think so with your APC for, for, for BI in mind, we had 11 years, there was nothing like a coup. So the rhetoric, we know they blame them, of course, nobody needs to blame them. So, but rhetoric can get people in a violence for exploiting. So we, we live in a country where you get gullible people. Mm. That has been highly demonstrated by the incitement where the they get from even the notorious Adebayo. You don't see them take to action. You see during elections, the, 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 the politicians, both in the APC and the 
and some of the other uh, political parties there, they make frivolous statements then, failing to realize it's not a thing of Uda Sabi talk passing company, Uda Sabi pulling spine company, Uda Sabi catch word passing company. Mm. You have a, a vulnerable set of people that the country way. What you go say something, I've just feel for Kansho saying, I'm a big woman pass, I'm a big pass, I'm a big man pass, I'm a big talk pass. I say it frivolously, somebody were gullible and naive somewhere, and they take action to that. It will exploit them, it will exploit them. So that make we have a youth employment challenge before the war under Kaba, under Kuruma, under Bio. We have fewer jobs to share. So it just behoves political parties to say, this Nami youth employment strategy. <coughs> now, so are they make Mendeman get job, Timni Mobo get job, Loko Mobo get job. But if you just say, no, Loko they get job, Shabro not they get job, Timni they get job, this not a good job under different regimes. You know what's going to happen? You reinforce the divide. And if I follow, actually watch the character of them political parties. If I follow, as we think, because right now, most of the NTIO people I talk about, the undercurrent is the 2028 elections. How do I position myself? And if I follow, they do the analysis, bearing that in mind. Me, they wish for a day where APC go talk, say, me, we will candidate, we will appoint 2028. You have forgot somebody from the south and east. You know what's going to happen? You actually smash ethnicity. It's not just about talking ethnicity, but you actually in your actions, the way you frame your party. If you watch the leadership, 1996 was Eddie Toure, he was from Bombali. 2002 was Anes Kuruma, he was from Bombali. 2007 was Anes Kuruma, he was from Bombali. Then, then the Almangay Al with Bombali, Redistrict Bombali and Karine. 2018, somebody from Bombali and Karine. 2023, from somebody from Bombali and Karine. If I follow what the internal fight within APC, whether we actually consider, say, Lord, get somebody from the South and East. And equally, where, where, where would they talk about SLPP? If I follow SLPP back talks, uh, begin to calculate, say, after this, of course, it was Tijan Kaba from Kambi in uh, 1996, then 2002, Tijan Kaba, then Solomon Berra from the South. Bio from the south, we should actually be thinking about how do we get somebody from the north. The more we the, the more we the change power, because the thing where really don't happen, we're really good, we're enviable for Sierra Leone across Africa. Now the fact is the last 15 years we don't change power two times. It it take time for let democratic practices uh, nurture, for let it hold. So how political party then re recalibrate themselves, restructure themselves, become inclusive in their character. Naingo makes Sierra Leone become inclusive. But if they are not inclusive, like for example, you take APC party structure, current executive, take SLPP party structure, current executive, you cannot call a pot, uh, you cannot be a pot for calling uh, you know, uh, a black. So you get from the party, and I think there are some of the big lessons that Andy from this failed coup, with the hearing now people they talk say, most of the ones they wouldn't say they, they, they want, then they're on the wanted list are northerners. And then they do one because they are northerners. Then they do one because they have been prompted for say, we this is not our arrangement. We are living in a country that we are not part of. We forget a system that works for us. And I believe say if political parties and all preach high-end public policy, you know what's going to happen? We actually reduce public policy conversation to the gutters. And I think things like coup and other things that. Um, your expertise, Andrew Lavalley, um, in all of this, what do you think is in the role of um, parliament in order for ensure say, we then a peaceful and, and stable country? Parliament are the place where cross for cross-party conversations. In fact, the more you get a robust stamp parliament, the more ineffective that country will become. So when you say cross-party cross con uh, conversation, if something the go law talks a passport book, for debate passport is not about APC position, it's not about SLPP position. It's about really advancing the position on Sierra Leone with not the best option. Unfortunately, we know they get that with a C even even if not the worst person is being approved, it they go through committee. We don't see like with parliament, it they it, even with audit audit report, auditor general's report, we not the parliament in Bible. We then for use for block leakages, we they find po political parties in the find and difficult for agree on that. So the more we focus on politics in our parliament rather than policy, the more it becomes difficult. So I think say this coup, whilst a lot of Sierraleans, all of we surveys they show say 90% of Sierraleans, 89 to 90% of Sierraleans, they talk say 
they prefer election. And the only way that they wouldn't go change leadership to any other means. So you do them 20 times, 20 times, salon people they don't want. In fact, they go just see you say, you bush, you funny. So institutions they get for work, and especially parliament. And I think so it's, there is a beauty. Um, APC, they talk about the last election, SLPP, they talk then the position then. But we, platforms like AYV and parliament, they provide then platform here for conversation is the best. It doesn't matter whether rest na 20 million, 20,000 for Bossa Cup. It doesn't matter whether rest na 2 million for, for bag rest. Nobody not tell anybody, uh, say, take gun, go negotiate on our behalf. Now, that's what the Reliance are saying. Say we are over and beyond that. Honorable Tawa being the lay emphasis on the fact that, say, as it is now, the country is secured and stable and things like that. But again, it might also interest you to know that um, with, before, I mean, the time where they've been put with regards to curfew from uh, um, 9 to, to 6, um, it still, it's still tell on people them. Um, even with the changes now to 12 and all of that, before 9 o'clock, Phoebe, and 10, you see people and still, they rush for going out, people that don't go out, which tells you that there's still some amount of, um, of, of fear. I mean, in your own words, from your own um, perspective, um, is the country safe? Is it stable uh, at the moment? No, that's what they actually t think about bringing ECOWAS uh, mission. It shows that there is some insecurity. And, and it takes two groups for make we secure. But Mali say collective security for surety. So it, it takes both of them. So now I talk say from that rhetoric, I go and see where APC they actually take action on Adebayo. So they actually work with government, whichever part with that person they around the world, let the extradite and let Kanaya. But the APC they talk say they don't put out a statement and the no, statement. No, no, it, it, statement is one. But beyond statements, you know, real action, and, and of course, governments back, we don't see a lot of uh, examples around the world where then they actually extradite. We'd, we'd see somebody in London where they preach hate, the Nigerian, they arrest them, they extradite them. So, then Tian Wei are they by all the talk? It's more than waiting, then talk will lead Rwanda to war. So, you actually see the hallmarks. And I just resilient people in the member say, Lord, not go back, we'll come out. So I think say, it behoves both political parties lower the rhetoric and, you know, walk the talk. Actually, talk say, no, this and this and this cannot be part of us. The good thing we don't happen, there is, we don't see an emerging cooperation. I think, say, we just get to see how that one day, uh, how go foster that one day into the electoral uh, reforms committee, let the committee begin for work, because at the end of the day, 2023, we don't pass them. I mean, the one whole world, don't talk, they don't. The, what we need for do now, now how the, the future could be better. How next election, all the mistakes they will do, how they make sure, say, it not be again. But, but for hold that one day, you know what that they mean? It, it means we not actually think about how they make the future better. All right. Um... Let we come back to you, Honorable um, um, Tawa. Um, as somebody where they represent the ruling party, there are a lot of fear in the hearts and minds of Sierra Leoneans. Um, what do you think, say, this leadership or the current government need for do for rebuild that trust and confidence, you know, in the hearts and minds of Sierra Leoneans? Well, um Apprehension, even in the most secure countries across the world, is always there because, in as much as the human mind in itself, the human body in its makeup, in its totality, is conflict, conflict is always bound to arise at any point in time. So, fear is always the heightened fear, and another problem where this um, situation bring calm at the table. But, however, Government management of the issues, government careful selections of the words the way they come out from the executive, government determination for use the rule of law, for pursue all of them things they are so without applying any other means. Government uh, 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 determination for ensure say, in as much as we are following up on this. We are also dedicated as a government for live up to what's them. Because there was a communique signed with the opposition, 
and other parties, as mentioned in the communique, mm -hmm. and we are living up to that. In as much as we follow up on this, we they also pursue this one. Like um, Phoebe and Swilbele say, the point now that part of the community say the, the APC and other political parties will submit the list. Yes, indeed, the APC don't submit the list, a list of 377 people. And of that 377 people, all the ones that we, they name deep by the cool, they all name deep by the people who ask for a list, either as political exile, either as people that way they be there in a prison, or either as people that way they on the run. Including Soiba, including uh, uh, Kabadumbuya, including Lenabut, including Washingai, including Etiiti. They all live at the 377 people And in addition, people there way, it's not only sufficient for disassociate yourself from some actions. Like you say, it's also strong enough for come out and say, let's pursue this action and show say we are not part of it. If you go to August 10, the August 10, Every government official also on every radio and every television station continue for hold on to one brief that it is a faceless demonstration. That nobody not come out and say in the BNM. And the people all they apprehend, we expect say they were people the way be they break the law, we be they undermine the security of this country, we make we lost plenty of money, economic activity slow down for almost two, three weeks, we also don't they culminate to the total a discouragement of foreign direct investment into this country. So for me, in my honest opinion, I was not expecting people um, in the August 10 for the part of the list where the APC they submit for a list from prison because they are not APC. The APC did not associate itself with that. Yeah? So they should have gone through the consequence of them a, a, a reckless action as a result of, as far as me know, somebody sitting somewhere inciting them where the APC don't associate itself from. They should not bring them people in there. The people of September 11, after the elections, we come out, we decide say that they come for car stage and other uprising in this country. They name not for their so. It's about 19% of the total people that will be there in incarceration. And then they ask for the release now. So the point for me is, <clears throat> and this list was submitted on the 3rd of November. Yeah? So all them people there, where they name their so, they by the coup, it, it, it's a dicey situation. But government in its entirety don't make sure say there were names submitted, there were names to be treated under the communique as government commitment. But however, government is not linking any political party, no region, no ethnic group to what it happened. Because there might be coincidence. We might have agreed to that there might be coincidence. Just that the coincidence sharp and for me, I think the government carefully they continue for foster peace. And they continue for pursue the legal actions the way go lead to outside the investigation they go. Thank God now, in not like tra the tra the nine, 1997, uh, late in the 90s, where you make cool nine, they say, hey, now, Phoebe, now, Phoebe, now, you say, you see me, I go by the meeting. But now there are clear electronic means of tracking people. So for us, as a government, we will continue to assure the people and say, we know they take no action with political, we know they take no action with religious, we know they take no action with the inch on targeting any particular ethnic group. After all, mainly by the target not on people, um, you're targeting me, by the way. But it is not targeted because as a Limba person, I didn't have the SFPP, I didn't have the party leadership, now, not only the, 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 the regional structure, but also the party leadership, now, the parliament. We should say it is not targeting any ethnic group, but it is leading to people that we can converge whether they had political belonging or not, for disrupt the peace and quiet of this country, for undermine the economic status of this country, and for use situation to their advantage. So for me, as a government, I will tell you that okay. we'll continue for preach peace and the security of the people of this country is the number one priority. Okay, just before we come to um, Honorable Unfa, um, let me take some messages, um, questions, and comments from we um, viewers them on Facebook and um, the first one are from CJ um, sorry the first one are from Usman is say all prisoners are ward of the state but who are responsible for the prison break Patrick uh, Musa Momodu say Mr. Andrew Lavelli God bless you you really know the dynamics and the burning issues in Sierra Leone and um, Samuel Sisse says, unity, freedom, and justice. We can only have freedom if justice prevails. Mm -hmm. Unity comes with freedom of association and belonging to a group. We need to learn how to work together as a nation, collective hypocrisy in Sierra Leone. Um, Solomon Bearbo, um, Bearhai say, 
APC, your actions and statements clearly show that your love for the party is more than the state. And Joe Bokari says, I would strongly urge the government to deal with the problem effectively, efficiently, and expeditiously and transparently. Um, we, must, um, know the, we must root out the few corrupt individuals who are causing the unrest in the country. Joe Bokari says, I would strongly... Um yeah. Uh, you, sorry, he says you can dissociate the link between the rhetorics and the unrest in the country. Those statements made by Samoa, Honest, and FCC Mayo would have never happened in the UK. And Hussam Konta says, Leda Bult, Kota, um, Soriba, Yeti Yeti, Karo, Kamara, Sharif, and others are all APC party card carriers. Uh, you know, please continue. Um... And also, Jobokari says, I'm really sorry to say that Mr. Civil Society is going around the edge of the issues. Andrew Lavalli is being intellectually with the issue. TJ says, APC are one of the troublemakers in Sierra Leone. I agree with Phoebe, they should help in the investigation. Make a press release at least to show that you are helping the government with investigation. And Jobokari again says, as long as the executive branch sits on those corruption cases, the insecurity will never go away. Joe Bokari says, people arrested at the Tombo Riot, Padembe Road Riot, um, were criminal cases, not politically motivated prisoners. And um, Joe Bokari again says, it will be irresponsible for government to say it's APC, as others will use it to undermine our security. Bailo Bass says, Mr. APC representative, Mfa, you're totally misunderstanding the chief minister. He said the fact at 98, um, Richard Conte and the APC are sending bad signals. APC really did stop the progress of the country. Um, lastly, Go for me, okay, um, Joe B. Bangali Jr. says the struggle we're going through in this country now did not start after the 2018 elections, mm -hmm. but Sierra Leoneans always fail to do research. Thanks, Andrew, for highlighting some of the issues. Um, Joe Bakari said, Dr. Koma, anyone can release a statement. The statement was a complete camouflage. God help Sierra Leone. Um, Bundo Usman says, Honorable Tawa, you are not saying the truth. Um, um, Alaji Alaji says, this is why Salon is not developing, because our leaders are not serious. Honorable Tawa is lying to a whole nation, a bunch of selfish leaders. Uh, Joe Bokari say, um, okay, we'll just in as the much as there are more attacks, yes. there are compliments, uh, mm -hmm. mm, 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 messages as well that we'll skip. But um, lack unto you, um, Honorable uh, Dr. Unfa. Do they probably want to respond to yes, the, the respond, messages? Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, I want, I want me want to. I want to respond a little bit to what you yes, want to say, then I can respond yeah, to, go ahead, please. to messages. Of course, um, firstly, um, August 10, we'll therefore be clear what happened August 10. August 10 happened, then days and hours after we do what happened, people then be, then go to people they will stay and arrest people then. Some people were part of the protest, some of them were not part of the protest. So if you see APC put some people away, we then claim say be they by the August 10 party list, now, because people then go to arrest, then target people, they arrest them and they host them after what they August 10 do happen. You see, but it and comes... the arrests were not random. Anybody then go to now because there's evidence where lead or suggest say you are one way or the other involved. Well, almost see, million people in a salon, they're not just random. But are you on position that? We we own but position. Some of you own position. If you position that, then go and arrest them just they because arrest some without people there. evidence connecting them. Clearly, they arrest people them way you not go get evidence. Now you make them they under investigation, now you make them imprison them, now you make them not even some of them not even come, they're not face trial it. Isn't that so? So for law they say somebody guilty so until proven so, guilty. So why Where is the law? Advocates for let them get a speedy the trial as opposed to let them release them. If, because, if your conviction because is that, it was they really innocent. Because it was part of waiting and talk na the dialogue. If they talk something a dialogue say this will be considered obviously if they say we can't pull people in 
You go post you of interest when you don't say, hey, this man they don't arrest a long time ago. You know, if you say guilty, you go put in him there. So if you really you not know, say he's not guilty, now nah, frame the frame and all, then just arrest and no wrongfully, then set her up. The, the, the thought would be you, you push for speedy trial. So because through the trial again, you go disgrace the one we like, Pana. But, but for go around and take a shortcut to say, let them release her without a trial. Well, and you're alleging that, then just arrest them without evidence. So why come first of all in the, in the dialogue? First of all, we get for remember what thing lead to the dialogue. We get for remember, say, an election happened where people may not be believe, say, the results were true. And honorable to us also talk about how not to law, say, results then for be published. Publish. Now, law, it then a section 92, subsection 1 of the Constitution, say, the elections, the, elect, the returning officer for produce the result of the result. So if people them APC they ask for results. Based on your own discretion or no, not so based on discretion. It's, not discretion. it's in the, the law. In it's in the law. So which law were different from which honorable tower in the say? He said they're not they're not get they're not get a uh, uh, responsible publish the data. Whether disaggregated or that uh, aggregated. No, wait, wait. Whether aggregated or aggregated. So the disaggregated that's the that's the, the bone of contention, <laughs> is it? Well, <laughs> my question is okay. okay no, what, what, clear. What, I don't want to misunderstand. Yes, you. if you disaggregate, means so, raw data. So, in the previous elections, then at the English land, in the previous elections, then mm -hmm. also ECSL being published in the disaggregated is, data. All that is that is sent as them, then tally them. They even put on a <laughs> na, 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 they put on a, na, in a projector. They did not do this in these elections. Even we get agents, them that then sent as them, we projector. left before that. Because they not project the result them. We have to see the result. They were not projected. So you're saying they were doing it before? Yes, they did it. They did it, in, they they did it in 2018. So now, so I was at Wellington when it was done. So now but Honorable they, they did not do it in 2023. Say, Honorable Tower, they talk, say, mm -hmm. it's not like a mandate. It's based on the ECSL commissioner's Section discretion. Section 93, subsection 1, if you want to read them. Read them, read them, read them, read them read you know, people they understand. They say, they say the district attorney officer shall, upon receipt of the statement of results of the poll from all the polling stations allocated in the district, compile a summary of all the statements of the results from the polling station concerned and certify as many copies as may be required of each summary to the regional returning officer. Officer showing the number of votes cast for each constituency. In this case, now district candidate, or the case may be each candidate in any other election um, held on that same day. So without us going around in circles, yeah. it brings us back to um, you're saying it's in the law. You're saying it was done previously. They refused for the one now. It brings us back to why not take these people to court? Otherwise. There will not have been a dialogue in the first place. Exactly. There will not be a dialogue. So if election law, if election happens, people do not agree to the election. If APC say they need to participate, if APC say some of them people they arrest them, now because them target them, then go and host them, arrest them. If people then kill people in that process, August 10, people they even know will not be there, part of the protest, where you see evidences of people they kill inside and host them, then if them people then they then say, okay, now Let's move on as a country. Let's put an end to some of these things, where they hold this country <clears> behind. <throat> then who's wrong with APC do for say, okay, some of them tear the whole country behind. Some of them people are on a lock, the whole country behind. If government be say, all the cases... How of, many people listen, they, they, they arrest one, the whole country behind? How the people they arrest one, the whole country behind? Mm -hmm. If they arrest them, they say they, they be target them, would they not be there for protest? And the family members, they know. And some people that when are friends, them we all see our and people they know each other. But again, you say, but again, you party. say this is not something we currently they under investigation. Why we not, not just allow for yes for let the investigation? So why, why the dialogue in the first place? But but you guys were comfortable the in dialogue the dialogue. They had resolutions. They are following the resolution of the dialogue. So now if we they come back and say, oh, we they, they cherry say, pick because on a para dialogue because again. Let's assume now na, na SLPP be make that recommendation. If APC had the rule of law at heart and respect the constitution and rule of law, the suggestion would be no, we not give them an easy way out because we want to serve as an example. So when the, when the let's go for a speedy What about trial. the government in the first place who signed that agreement? It was signed. 
So Remember, this, right? It was signed by both sides. Why the town are just not saying PCS FPP is now with biggest problems? We are disagreeing. This of course. Just but but it that. comes back to what thing happened so on, on June. So you guys are comfortably with APC and SLPP fighting for what's in your interest, not upholding the rule of law. Why are you going to so say? Why don't do this today? Why are you going to say that in your interest? An NGC or, S or, or, or C4C or any other political party member go violate. There is now a precedence for cancer. PCS and SLPP don't go agree. So. So why you go say na political interest when all of you be they say political interest? Where all of you Is be they say where all of you be they say APC member of parliament will participate in governance. If people then get uh, um, and uh, and and yeah, agree to we'll participate because it was the APC members of, of, of course who went around campaigning to people for vote for them. Of Let's course, start from the journalism. of course, but now, now campaign for an office. But if they are aggrieved, if people are aggrieved and they say we are not participating because we are aggrieved, mm -hmm. people are saying they are not participating because the elections were not credible. If they say they didn't participate, they want to say long and go participate back. Okay, we're going to dialogue. They agree that you say that they are the problem. Okay. They will tell me what thing they want. Tell me what you want. An easy way out. Not an so easy short. way out. To cut okay, short. why would they not say they do a rerun of the elections, which we believe say were not credible? Okay, fine. Not all that easy way out, Stanley. Fine, honorable on fact. Not all that easy way out. That would have been an easy way out. To cut matters short, fine. The APC don't join on with the SPP in terms of governance. Fine. Now, this thing don't happen. What's the way forward? Okay. Um... When they talk about, okay, uh, the way forward is, mm -hmm. based on Honorable Tawai's statement, it means probably there is no commitment in even honoring what happened at that dialogue day. There is no commitment. Because if commitment day, you know what they say, okay, some of them people are in at least, the name day. What, what so if, okay, wait, wait, let me yeah, land. No, Allow no, me to no, land, please. You don't land, but I'll just ask this but question. Was, no, I'm not a distraction okay, in any way. But was the APC party, I mean, um, um, comfortable with the dialogue <clears throat> to start with? If they assure the people that were saying we will represent three part dialogue, they were comfortable and they signed off on it. On been signed in any dialogue, there is a give and take. You don't get every 100% of what you want. What did you so then the Phoebe and the talk say it was from an, a personal interest, sort of because. No, it's, it's a political interest and national interest. Political interest because. And national interest. They signed the dialogue because. national interest. Be for letting free some of them people. For, for reform ECSL. What caused the problem in the first place for this election? Na, na political interest. You know, I see a credible election. You know, I see a president who people can vote for. Answer that question for me. Everybody want to see Thank a you. credible so, election. Thank you. So, na, na APC issue, You want to see the rule of law upheld for make them always, 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 always. Always, I make you believe. Say you don't go to people's home, then go na net and arrest people them without yes, investigating them. You understand? Without even investigating them, they're going to arrest them. There were videos to the effect. And we now representative of the people. Some of these people, we know them. Okay. We were out there on August 10th. Prepare. Picking called me, say, the uncle, who say you go? I don't dress. I said, what do you mean? He said, the doctor was in a junction. So, all of us were victims of what happened on August 10th. So, so how do so we unravel all what we are in now? Commitment. To a very large extent, the APC and the SLPP have not been innocent in all of this. Where we are currently has been largely due to the selfishness of both the APC and the SLPP with on our all desire for get this, this Or probably power. the selfishness of Sierra Leone. How do we Sierra unravel Leone? this? How do we unravel this? <laughs> because because why would you want to say Dr. the selfishness Coleman of Sierra Leone? How do we, because... Dr. Koma, how okay. do we unravel this to a point where this becomes history? Mm -hmm. But we mm -hmm. move forward as a country, just like we, that November 26th, whether they call people in for common law, it's Alex. No one, yeah. What we don't go through in the past, people are not going to forget that. Mm -hmm. So it, it may be no say, no, we need triumph. How do we go forward as a nation in one accord where obviously we're all over for the unity, obviously we know that, but in one accord where there is peace and stability maintained, rule of law, democracy, and good governance? Honesty. Honesty is the one word. Honesty. When you're honest to the cause, when you're honest for a purpose, when you're honest, say, what do they ask out of this? Now the betterness of the Waiting an APC in role, waiting an SLPP in role. Now we want the honorable to ourselves to answer that. Waiting an APC in role, waiting an SLPP in role. I want, I want clear back, say, okay. not to APC in role for extradite anybody. Now yeah, government so get that authority APC in role. APC in role now for support government in anything we think government they do. Then APC in role. We in opposition now for call out government on what they do wrong. We in opposition now for support government on doing anything that is constructive or will benefit the Real Union. Now we're rolling and they, when it comes to security, now with all responsibilities, supporting the security personnel for ensure the good happen. 
we get a judiciary system where we get backlog in cases then. So if you get people in prison longer than the time they never face a magistrate, a judge, you're not gonna blame the opposition for that. You go blame the system for not bringing those people to the, to, to what they call. If we not go on dialogue now, then say, okay, some of them people are when I bring them, low, 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 move on as a nation. Let bygones be bygones. If APC can't present a name, then at the end of the day, August, uh, June, uh, November 26 happened, then some of them people are named the party list, they begin call questions, say doubts, they this and that. Then it, it shows that it probably honesty for law move forward, not they. And for less alone better, because some of we were really optimistic, and they look say, this is a new ray where they shine at Sierra Leone. For the APC and SLPP can at table for talk, what we will do, and put our personal interests aside. Doing that dialogue was for the people of this, of this country, not an APC issue, okay. not an SLPP issue. So but the APC and SLPP are Sierra Leoneans, and I make a say, now it's a Sierra Leonean issue. All of us are Sierra Leoneans then. Every time you point a finger, there are four fingers pointing at you. And I don't know all for remember. So quickly, as we go over to Honorable um, Tawa, let me just read this from um, 1 to 10. How committed is the APC party in ensuring the peace and stability of the nation? Honorable. I mean, I'm okay. talking to you. Oh. Yes, please. Oh, I thought you said Tawa. Okay. No, no, no. I, I said before going to. Okay, yes. yes. How committed? We, yes, on a, on a be as a party for ensure that sooner on a collaboratively, we, you know, work we, together we, with. We, 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 we call on government and we want government for including in all what they do as long as it's for the prosperity of this country, whether it's peace, whether it's economic, any kind of prosperity will benefit we because we all will perish together if Salon, Salon perishes. Mm. So APC is committed to that. We've seen situations when APC have been um provoked into violence it never happened even during the election you see what happened at party office everybody see but nobody is saying anything and when you silence on things that only matter they will continue to happen then go undermine the security of a country then go there open then kill a lady in our party office unprovoked we are there i was there i ran for my life we, we are saying okay elections have happened we believe we've won we went to our party office all of a sudden um, armed people and can begin shoot them broke windows them now threat to security than they so APC always have not responded with violence APC committed to peace APC committed to peace and will continue to be committed to peace so if the government calls on us if the government work with us we will work with them in earnest Okay, um, Honorable, uh, yes, Tawa. APC and SLPP are all going forward <laughs> for fix saloni problems. I think, as a party, I'm convinced that we don't take the right steps then from day one, from the inception of and formation of the SLPP. The SLPP was born out of unity, out of togetherness, bringing people of all shades of opinions from all districts across Sierra Leone for calm, for stand up for Sierra Leone and for Sierra Leoneans them against um, colonial rule. And the SLPP, in furtherance of that objective, in 1961, lead Sierra Leoneans them, well meaning Sierra Leoneans them, to Lancaster and bring independence for Sierra Leone. So the objective of the SLPP has been the same right through. It has been engendering unity. Uh, uh, fostering peace, um, keeping Sierra Leoneans together and including every Sierra Leoneans from all shades of opinion, from every district, every region, into the governance activities of this country. And that one day no will change because, like Angola Valley said, if you look at the dynamics, you will realize, say, in the 11 years of the former president, Koma, when the AP, SFPB did in our opposition, you never heard of Augustine. You never heard of any civil strife. There was nothing like government disruption. Even in the height of Ebola, with president now, then the former the flag bearer then for the 2012 election, when Ebola struck Sierra Leone, he left UK, he came to Sierra Leone, he spoke to his brother, President Koroma then, and he go around this country for sensitize, tell Sierra Leoneans that Ebola is true. We have to come together to fight Ebola. Yeah, we get for... the president, by the way. Now, no, because he talked to his brother, the president. Mm. President, I call him, he come. <laughs> the point is, you understand. And call and come again, facilitator. The, the, the point so, is, the, 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 the point is whether it was facilitated or not. The goodwill of the SLPP 
in coming out to do that. There seems to be some sort of disconnect between um, members of the APC and that of the um, SLPP. I mean, clearly, um, um, Honorable Unfadi asks that. You just mentioned it, they ask that, you know, on a work with them in, 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 in ensuring a smooth um, um, governance operation. Is that correct? We are working with them. The point is... Are they fully involved? <coughs> the, the point is, in governance, there is no way where the opposition will be fully involved in any part of the world. Not even the biggest democracies, not even in America. Republicans are only involved at Senate and Congress level, and when there is time and need for a dialogue, President Biden will invite the leadership of the, 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 the Republican Party for dialogue, whether or not for extend the public debt, whether or not for open the space. But there is no clear path, show me any sign of the world, where there is a clear, let me finish, Marina, mm -hmm. where there is a clear path, where the opposition, the demand say, this is what we want to do, and government follow it. No. Governments, they say, where they make you leader and for lead the others. And government is leading the others consciously taking into consideration all the tenets and spirit and intent of the constitution. So in this vein, you realize say, President Bill, from where he don't inherit power, from where he don't win power in 2018, to date, he has made conscious efforts for ensure say, he extend governance beyond SLPP, beyond core SLPP members. We have seen people away to our point where even membership of the SLPP, they say, oh, this one not be there by the effect for bringing you in a power. <coughs> he said, it's not about me, it's about putting Sierra Leone to the next level. We've seen a lot of people, we've seen uh, Obama Jazz, the, the, the former minister of tourism under APC way, and I be minister of works, minister of trade, Alaji al a lot of people have formed different shades of opinion we don't in a governance. So the point is, the APC have to respect the fact that when it was 11 years of the APC, we did not demand as an opposition that we want this, we want to do this. All those people they do under GOB, now for ensure every month, we get press conference, we talk what government do bad, we talk what government do fine, we put out a press statement to the public, to the press, for the press CC, we are a responsible opposition. Come to the point of the list, yeah? If for any reason, <coughs> government pursue anybody self in the cause of August 10, eh, 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 PBC, therefore don't pursue the rule of law. And the rule of law was followed. This is not all people away, don't go to school trials, and they were sentenced, some for 18 months, some for 24 months, some for six months, as the case may be. Yeah? So the rule of law was observed. Those who were in his words, in his statements, where he said they go pull na, na, na the oath, na say I did they release plenty of people. There was a day where women then they way them be arrested during the period where they released the all. Because the investigation should say they were not part of the demonstration. But in in, in chaos, anybody where you see. You together because you want to maintain peace. But when quiet don't come, all the one they will not begin nothing, will not begin no evidence connecting them to the, the riot, they were released. So the point is, I am not saying the APC na they're responsible for anything. I am saying this list of three hundred and seventy seven names involve people that will cause riot na tombo like what that text I say, people that will cause riot na Kamakwe, people that will cause riot na Freetown on different dates. On August 10, on September 11, including people them like a Soiba will not be there in this country. Look at Sub Inspector Soiba CC, Sub Inspector David Dauda CC. People that will cause problem will be there. People that will decide for abandon the country. No, no one will arrest them, no one will not investigate them. They left. But you ask for them and come back. Before government could consider the list, then people that don't come back in this country through whatever means and can cause trouble. And he talked about uh, uh, extradition. The point now that the communique way in the say, the communique jointly say, the government of Sierra Leone and the party, no, sorry, say both parties commit to re engineer, is it re engineer? No, sorry, let me just look for this side we get for do it. Bring in, okay, fine. The government of Sierra Leone and the APC party strictly condemn all citizens at home and abroad who incite violence, spread hate speech, and disrupt national cohesion online and offline. And government will continue all efforts to bring those involved to justice. Same thing. So the spirit is, from after this communique, we have to be very honest. There has never been a clear message or a clear uh, 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 a, a press release from the APC where they condemn and they buy There's no zero. He has relied on press releases from his party office. There is zero. So, and it, it still they cause 
they wreak more havoc, it still they creates more difficulty, it still they go and we say, it still they build the, 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 the foundation of a Rwanda in Sierra Leone. And the APC is saying nothing. And the APC has not condemned him. And the APC is not come like what they say for involving governance. Government and the APC, let's write a strongly worded letter to the international community requesting an extradition of Adebayo. They have not done that. So if you want to involve in governance, if you want to take part and support government in Lekwe like DC, they have to be want to be involved. Government has given you the platform. Let us come together and say, okay, let us write a joint letter sent to all international embassies and to where Adebayo is, say one for the extraditum as parties in Sierra Leone because it incites violence. There's none of that. The so the point, the, the, so the point is the government has created the way. There's a dialogue. There's yeah. a communique sign. Yeah. And part of the communique is that the government and the APC strong, strong, strongly condemn hate speeches. So if anybody they give hate speech and you know say the government they pursue an extradition part for bringing that person in for face justice or for reduced detention of the country, if you really want to participate in governance, it is your position to come and say it is high time. Let's put a, 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 a note through the foreign ministry requesting the government society jointly signed by the leadership of the two parties requesting the extradition of this person. Uh, uh, uh. Um, Honorable Tawa, I'll just hold you the, um, quickly. I mean, you they carry a huge um, position in our parliament um, as you know the deputy chief whip too. And personally, what do you don't do um, for ensure say you bridge that sort of um, 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 gap in terms of fostering um, cooperation between other um, um, members of parliament and for address this issue? Yeah? Uh, I think, say, maybe... You know, I did for that talk on the television, but now a show of how far are they go for bridge the gap and how strong that effort the, the yield dividend. Just yesterday, a new member of parliament from the APC presented me with one small goat for me Christmas. Mm. It is no joke. The Honorable Anes Dura Koma from Cambia, give me one small goat for Christmas. So it shows a I am not seeing anybody as a PC and SLPP. We have our political belonging, but we objective now for foster the development of Sierra Leone to the next level. Honorable Memona Sujalo, Honorable Mahmoud Kamara, the Honorable the colleague, honor, uh, APC Honorable Wede Lomli. I don't arrange, we make meeting, me, him, and the councillors the Wede in that area day, and we set out roadmap as to how we all for work together and we are working together it shows that it is beyond partisanship they reach out with the talk me and honorable akk when are the whip of the opposition in fact for most parts i don't even allow them for do in your know, part of the the the, the role because is the whip of the opposition by hierarchy mean I deputy chief whip too and I'm a boss. So most times when it, they come to parliamentary sitting, I go go to Latin and talk, I go call the MPs they say, okay, go. I go bring the MPs them. Sometimes they go join me. So it should say we are working together at that level. And we are doing everything. What's in lacking? Now that that camera there we will enjoy in a parliament. We know they bring that same thing they can to the public, and the public not, not understand, say, we are not enemies. Let the public understand, say, if a, 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 a dog they eat food, they buy food in a canteen, and they eat, and go eat inside that food day. Or they go to the office, I will ask dogs, say, buy for me food, but they are counter for me. You go buy for me that food that I eat them. Because I believe, say, you know, go put poison for me. Because he believes, you know, I know put poison for them. But what will come out in the public will create an impression like, Oh, we are not talking, we are at odds, we are not at odds, we are working together. So as Deputy Chief Whip in the Parliament, I make sure say, I embrace every MP, new, old, for them to work together for move Sierra Leone before. And every issue where the APC MP go face, where I go address the same issue for SIPP MP, and address them at the same frequency and the same speed. Okay. We get more messages, so we could just read out some of them as we try for round of um, this segment. Um, the first one I will read, thank you, um, K. Asan, say thank you for asking this question. You are far better than your colleague who is now quiet when Hatawa is speaking. K. Asan, they send message for you, Marina. K. Mm. Asan, I am a professional. I speak when I have to, when I need to, and ask the questions I feel. The beauty is... When we they do we work, sometimes when I'm not satisfied, we pinch you once I say, oh, this person now by and that's what it is. Make peace with that. It, it would help you. Um, Simba Cole says, why don't you go ahead and do the needful and have his arrest in Holland? You guys always look for ways um, to drag the opposition into your mess. You guys claim to be in control, 
but always asking the opposition to do so and so. Um, Joe Bakari say, since President Bio won, APC has never accepted his leadership. They have publicly stated that they will make the country ungovernable and cause destruction, so APC is pursuing that route. And Samuel Sisse says, since 1961, SLPP and APC has hold this country and their citizens hostage. Uh, Patrick Musa Momodu say, uh, Mr. Honorable Koma, the dialogue was gentleman agreement, not constitutional, sir. And Mosia Janice says, for now, the quantity of prisoners in our prison is acceptable than the escape prisoners. Medmans Van Hadladen say, Tawa is a dishonest politician. And Patrick Momodu says, Mr. Honorable, you missed the point, sir. The dialogue was not about Sierra Leone, but for your beneficiary, sir, because the first issue that was presented is about your backlog salaries. Joe Bocker, he said, the only way forward is for the government to use the powers invested in them by the people of Sierra Leone via the 1991 constitution. The leadership of the SLPP is weak in protecting the people of Sierra Leone. There are moderates and liberals in the APC and in the north that do not support state insecurity. Um, lastly, Mr. Honorable Koroma, the dialogue agreement was, and that's from Patrick Momodu, it says the dialogue agreement um, was a gentleman agreement, not constitutional. So it's left with the government to implement it or not because it is not constitutional, sir. Uh, Jalo Usman says people in this country have no respect for the national pledge. It is really sad. Okay, I don't know if you've got many. I don't know if you have uh, all the messages, just, uh, but I um, think um, yes. To that. Um, yeah, I want for make you respond to the one we see. It was sort of like a gentleman agreement and not a constitutional. Of course, it's not yeah. constitutional. But gentleman's agreement now for the betterness of Salon. How do we move forward in the in the in the stalemate with government defend itself and the people of this country defend themselves? If there's a disagreement and we come to the table for fix that disagreement, day, I don't think say APC or SLPP do wrong for Canada table. But firstly. Somebody, a caller, uh, 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 a viewer it. talked yeah. about, say, the number one thing on the, on, on the table was backlog salaries. salaries. And that is, they don't talk about backlogs, they talk about uh, entitlement, and that's resolution number six. Resolution number one, Nafole President makes statement. Two, Nafole APC then go participate in governance. Three, Nafole uh, then set up a committee. Four, for pull the prisoners then. So, backlog salary never was number one because we only had a member of parliament there observing the, the whole thing. All of the people on the table were not MPs. So our MPs they would, they would, they would talk for their salary when they're not in a table they would talk about salary. So now, who do generally we, we have to okay, be honest ahead, as Sierra Leoneans. Mm -hmm. Generally, the finger pointing, if we ease them a little bit, they will all go be no we all will know say we self get a responsibility, incumbent responsibility. We all of us for for for, for, for assume. Um, Honorable Tawa say, we know they come on board for call Adebayo. Exactly. Last, last, for me, I, I don't even listen to him. I know they, I know they listen to Odio, so I don't know if he's still the pool of Joseph or videos. Of course, he's saying, you go somebody watching a person in phone, he put her in his status. That's the only time the opportunity to me you get for peeping to her. So, but governments have to lead. And in, in when we read the communique, it talk about government leading. When government lead, then all the rest will follow. We all know, say, there was a meeting of the committee that government did not attend. And Dr. Kaifala Mara blast government on that. He tweeted on her. Then the chief minister came and responded. So if government had a council meeting on an issue we get for do with this dialogue, where is government's commitment in the whole process? Now the commitment. So if resolution, what's the resolution about bringing them people that they cause mayhem in a salon? to book, but when I go for their meeting and they, where's the commitment? So for us, honesty is paramount. If one move this country forward, I think so, for be honest. They say, society, they grow great when old men plant trees, underway, they expect for the under. And they also tell you, so for see this wall as a wall, 
all they borrow from we pick in not to all they inherit from we we, we forefathers there. So for all they go back to 1961, what happened there? For Cambria and come back to 2023, for say, okay, what happened in 1961? And they continue. And we don't want to look in, dig deep between yourself for say, Lord, do better for Salon, so that we left Salon in a better position than Usa Ofena. Then I'm very, 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 very worried Usa this country lead. Okay. Um, Honorable Tawa. Well, generally, uh, I would say, as governments, we always committed to everything we would say and everything we we they do for this country. Like one text I say, for me, President Bio in Eritrea's power, there is not a time where he is able to enjoy a full year where problem will come. But he don't still steer the ship well. He don't keep the ship together. They keep governance moving. The point now that if there is a committee where you suppose forget three people left for chair. The two people are available. But the one person, one of the critical mediator, one of the international partner in all day. Do you expect that committee to sit? Between us, we can talk. But between us, you know when we talk, when we go out there, the message is different. So you always need the arbiter way they keep the balance between we. So if the arbiter not the UN don't change the permanent representative and we see they don't appoint somebody else. That person is not presenting credentials to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for onward presentation to the president. Do you expect the committee to sit? No. So if you come to public and say, oh, the committee, the chief minister did not attend, you should explain the full story that the chief minister did not attend because the meeting is supposed to have three co-chairs. And the two co-chairs, they are available. But the third is yet to go through a formal diplomatic process for her to assume as it's officially. And in not tell like maybe some part, the overlook overlaps the way they happen now, we won't end. Where somebody go just and go just appoint you, you go in the office, you pull the other post, you sit on the, you begin the work, you not go through parliamentary approval. This is a situation where the person will say, he will appoint them through a diplomatic channel, he got to fulfill all the diplomatic way call them before he assume any responsibility. So for me, it is clear that as a government, we are dealing with everything as rule of law issues, and we will take everything step by step, and we will continue to assure the people of Sierra Leone, say, Sierra Leone is safe, Sierra Leone is secure, your businesses are safe, your businesses are secure, and we will continue to pursue any unknown persons where they try for disrupt and undermine the peace of Sierra Leone to the point of bringing that person there to justice. So now, um, Honorable Unfadi Tok say um, it's the role and responsibility of the government for facilitate um, 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 Adibayo in expedition or whatever it is. Um, is, that, is that correct or uh, are you throwing it back to him say Naden supposed to act upon that? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm a member of parliament. And we get the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We have all our like, international channels. We have all the channels that we government they use. It, it will be premature for us to make any comments now, yeah, where I don't get the fact. Like what somebody they say are dishonest, but the person able for categorize you say me dishonest today from what I've done now today. I say the election was free, fair, and transparent, and that is the truth. I say the government they ensure say peace, stability. Salon election 2020. As in Salon June election 2023, June 24, 2023, 56% of Sierra Leoneans say President Biona and win. As in the number game in America with 77 million say that Joe Biden, uh, 77 million say they vote for Trump, 82 million say they vote for Biden, but now Biden win. You know me to say the margin of a uh, difference between them, and they validate in, in legitimacy. No, not imagine not anybody free. they talk about. No. But yeah. when they talk, say free, fair, transparency. It was free, fair, and transparency. It is the same salon we all. It is the same thing. If same you have any evidence, an international observer and self being issued with so, the, 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 the same the same international salon. observer will get problem with the elections. In problem, not emanate from a legal means. I will say it. Even the provision where they cite now the the community. Legal or not, it does not take away the fact that it had issues. It, it does. That, those those are the issues. Like there those are, those are the issues. issues the electoral management people. committee therefore for ensure for say what's in the, the role of elections, of elections observers. What about campaign for good governance? What's in the role of election <laughs> observers? Mm. Yeah. The role of election observers get for be looked into by this committee and ensure it is clearly defined. Not of just come and look. He spoke of projection, projection of results. There has never been any projection of results in this country. Now the first thing is the first way they ask for that one day, and they don't get the infrastructure, they cannot do it. So the point is you cannot ask for what is not in our law. Let us be fair to ourselves, let us be responsible, and let us be respectful of our laws. This is the state. We cannot leave Sierra Leone and go to UK and say, oh, if I do this one. You cannot. 
where the where the United Kingdom have to move uh, 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 immigrant into Rwanda, they have to go through the process. What they try in the first place, go to court. So it is incumbent on any Sierra Leonean for don't go to court and say. So this you're is saying, Honorable Tawa, ECSL conducting itself in the most professional and best way. In the best way. In, the, in this 2020. Yeah. In the best way, legally guided and as provided by the Public Elections Act and as provided by the 1991 Constitution, ECSL conduct the same and conduct the election and declare the results as provided by the law. Interesting. Well noted. You know why I can lack some of the questions here? Yeah? If there's anything I've learned in Sierra Leone this past period is how the language can change when it's sweet. Um, 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 Dr. Koma don't complain about how police then go fire, fire. It's the same time I remember when SLPP was in opposition, a similar thing happened. The police then go, then fire, tear gas. Lima was complaining through the media. It's, it's so when on a day in a position of convenience, it's okay, it's right, it's sweet. When on a day in a position of inconvenience, you all of a problem. sudden the scales are taken off of your eyes and we see the problems. It it's quite interesting then conversation. I'm not sure that's the case because, who because in which case, look at yeah, you. It who you ask, we, contest, we have contested two elections. Yeah. Because APC in power and APC in opposition, the language different. SLPP in power and SLPP in opposition, the language different. So it comes from a position of convenience. We have contested two elections against the APC, President Bill. Yeah? We lost in 2007. We, we lost in 2012. In both of the elections then they will not only concede defeat, but will congratulate the winner. 2012? We, we lost in 2012. President Bill? President Bill lost in 2012. Then he... He conceded. Why, 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 why was it in court? Why... why uh, I'm not going to the same salon we all did. No, concession and going to court, they are two different things. So, you know, when you concede, you're going to court. No, okay. you concede um, gentlemen, uh, and congratulate the winner, but you challenge issues that were there by the elections, they are two different things. Gentlemen, because of time, we <laughs> definitely go on for get this conversation here yes, so people in Goi will understand exactly <laughs> what's in the gone. But uh, due to time factor, we not go able for continue this conversation. Well, this is where we go end today yeah. on program Wake Up Saloon. Mm -hmm. We are sponsored by Okel Commercial Bank. Uh, thank you part of the program. We will get Honorable Ibrahim Tawa telling our Deputy Chief with two House of Parliament. We will get Honorable Dr. Unfa Soriko Roma with our APC Parliamentary Spokesman. And we will get Andrew Lavali, uh, Executive Director for IGR. Uh, thank you to all all way drop a comment or question on our Facebook page. Thank you to all all way listen and watch the program. Um, Till tomorrow, we will not present the program. Today, my name is Nafibian Swill. And my name is Marina Terry.